Okay guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to download the Drastic DS emulator to your Android phone without using a computer and this is the easiest way I've found to get the BIOS. So what you want to do is you want to pick the game you want to, that you want to play and you want to download that ROM first. Don't do anything else, just do, do that first. So you're going to go to your browser and just Google Cool ROM NDS as you see right there and then it'll show you the most of you guys are probably going to be wanting to play like Pokemon or something like that. And so these, as you can see, those are like the top five. And just for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to be downloading Pokemon Soul Silver. Soul Silver. Mm. There we go. Oh. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay. As you can see, this is just CoolRom.com. This is their mobile version. And, uh... You're just going to scroll all the way down here to download now. And you're just going to download that. And that, as you can see, it says starting download. So it'll, it'll just start downloading it for you. It'll pop up right there whenever it's... We'll start doing it. My phone's kind of slow, so just give it a second. Alright, anyway. You do that. And then while that's downloading, you want to go to your to your Android market and download just search any emulator BIOS and it's gonna look like that right there that's what it's gonna look like and you also want to download your ES file explorer now those are both free and they can both be found on your Android market and you just search them and they'll, they should be the first link you download those and then what you want to do is you, you want to download drastic just search it on the Android market it's eight dollars on Android or if you want to search drastic APK on Google. I'm sure you can find a free version out there for some, for you guys that only want to play eight dollars. But whenever those, whenever you get all those downloaded, Soul Silver still downloading. But uh, now I already have uh, I already have Platinum Pokemon Platinum downloaded, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and open that one up just to kind of show you what it does. But you want to go to your any emulator BIOS, and this is how you get the BIOS. This is the easiest way I found to do it. You can do it other ways, but this is just the way I found to do it. Now, as you can see, it says select your console, and you just want to go to India and Nintendo DS BIOS, and you want to determine where it wants to go to, and you're going to want to put it to your mount, to your SD card, and uh, you want to click browse, and this is how you tell it where to go. You're going to go. You're going to scroll until you find you want to find download that's the file that you want to put them in see it's right there uh, and then just click select don't click any of this just click select it said in uh, here I'll show you that again where you see it says NDS BIOS I have already done this that's why it's there it won't be there for you guys until you put it in there so go ahead and do that and then you want to click generate BIOS file and I've already done that, so I'm not going to. There's no need. But what you, it just automatically does it. And then whenever you do that, you want to go to your ES File Explorer. And you want to find... I'm so sorry for this. I'm using my iPad. The iPad YouTube catcher, so the picture's terrible. But you just bear with me. And you want to scroll down until you find Download. And then you download that. And as you can see, it's right there. And if you click on it, you have BIOS, NDS7 ROM, NDS9, and firmware. And if you read the description on the drastic of the Android market's description, it's going to say these are the three that's required. And whenever you open the app, it'll also tell you that it's required. So that's what you do. You get those. And you just want to make sure they're in there. You just want to make sure they're in the download file. If it's in the download file, it should work. It The, the drastic tells you to put it somewhere else, but just stick it in the download. It should work fine. And it's going really slow. I don't know why it's going so slow, but as you can see, that's 36%. But I already have Platinum downloaded, so I'm just going to show you guys that one. And then you're going to click on Drastic after you get that done, and it should it should take you automatically to this screen. But you might have to. It'll tell you the stuff that you have to install, and then you just click install, and it should do it automatically. If it doesn't, leave me a comment, and I'll help you try to work through it. When you get to this, you're going to want to click Load New Game, and here's it'll say All. It'll say all, and it'll have all your files. It says audio, graphics, Nintendo SD, Nintendo DS BIOS, saves, and Pokemon Platinum. And then my recent is just Pokemon Platinum. So you're going to click on it. Do you want to 
you want to resume your last save, choose no to start a new one. Just always click no. Always. Because in Pokemon, whenever you click new game, it gives you the option to carry on from where you started. It'll, it'll just bring you up to the normal Pokemon menu like it would if you were playing on a real DS. And so it'll go through your menu. And you can see that. And this runs perfect speed. I mean, it's just, it, the frames mess up a little bit. Picture's not perfect, but the, the speed is just flawless. You click A, and you can see what I'm talking about, how it, it gives you this option. You just want to click New Game every time you play a Pokemon game, and it'll take you to this. And then you just resume. You just click A and resume from where you're at. And then, here, I'll just run around for a little bit so you guys can see how how flawlessly this runs. I mean, even with the running shoes, the frames, it's just, the speed, it's just beautiful. By far the best DS emulator ever made for an Android phone. Go pick it up. If you don't want to pay the the eight dollars to get it legally just get the I'm sure you can find a crack version somewhere but yep that's pretty much how you do it leave any questions in the comments and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible